all right welcome to another video so yesterday I got, if you watched yesterday's video you got to see me put the timing covers on and then we got the power steering ac on first i needed to like start taking these bolts back out and putting some latte on them i just had them in there so the rtv could dry Gasket surface is all clean. This is all this whole black stuff is just stained from the oil, but it surface is all good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the RTV on the oil pan and set it on here. Alright, I didn't record doing the oil pan because that was a a hot mess because my RTV thing like exploded and I had to use my finger to put all the stuff on there and that was a, a massive mess, so I didn't record that, but it's on there, RTV is drying. Then I should be able to take the bolts back out, put some Loctite on them, put them back in. So the oil pan should be all dry now. It's been about two hours. And I'm going to start pulling bolts out about one by one and putting some Loctite on them. Alright, forget whatever I said earlier, we're going to put the engine on uh, the tire and start working on the pilot bushing. I kind of can't get to it because of the engine stand. So, cranking it up. I'm gonna get it situated, get on the tire, work on the pilot bushing, and engine is off the engine stand. Our pilot bushing is right, right there. I'm gonna grab the old one and make sure that's a, uh, make sure it fits. Yeah, that should fit fine. So the last thing we're pretty much gonna be doing in this video is removing this uh, pilot bushing. I got one of these pullers and this basically got this from AutoZone. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out the bushing with this. I'll show you how that works. But we tried doing the grease method and it wouldn't come out. So Alright, I forgot to show you setting it up, but you just basically loosen this up all the way and put these tongs inside and to where they clamp on and like the back of the bearing. Then you tighten up this as much as you can and that's basically like clamping onto it. Then get this flat up against the surface and tighten up this nut. And whenever you turn this nut, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's pulling outwards, and where it's slammed onto the bear, uh, the bushing in this case is pulling it out. So I'll show you once it's out. All right, now it's out of here. So now it's out of there. Just had to clean up the surface inside of there and press on the new one. All right, so this 10 millimeter fits right inside of here, and whoops. So I'm basically just going to set this inside of here like this, and then hit it with my favorite little pink hammer, and it should pop right in. Alright, you can see our pilot bearing is in there now. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If not, leave me some feedback, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.